Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm good. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Elizabeth Marisa and to my new subscribers welcome to the family it's a so good to have you here feel free to comment like share these videos uh so today i'm back with another faith-based video and i've just been thinking of uh how we get so comfortable especially with christians uh, we get so comfortable in our situation of being christians and we think we have everything you know figure out and we know everything but then uh, we get a whole lot of things wrong and I just thought I should do this video on how to level up as a Christian this also benefits even for someone who's just started their walk with Christ so uh, yeah let's get right into the video so the first thing that I would advise you to do as a Christian uh, is to read the Word of God yes so i know a lot of times we get dependent on going to church listening to sermons and getting interpretations from anointed men of god that is all right that is very great but then you also need to know the word for yourself because it will save you from um getting wrong doctrines from people um yeah because you know uh, these days you you know that there are fake uh, pastors and things like that so you do not want to fall um trap of that so you need to know the word of the lord for yourself before anything else so that uh, when the interpretation comes from the pulpit it's just an interpretation to broaden uh what you already know what you've already read and understood for yourself so that will um save you from church hit you have had people stories of people who have been hurt in church because they have followed a person and they are teaching because they do not know what the word of the lord says about certain things for themselves and the second thing is go to church <laughs> yeah <laughs> go to church guys uh i know we take it for granted especially now that we are in um lockdown covid kind of situation the pandemic and all we hardly go to church now yeah church are currently closed and um we tend to relax a lot and not see the importance of going to church but going to church is really important and right now uh, our best bait is to attend online services attend online services don't let other things dis uh, distract you get your priorities straight you can go on the internet and spend half the day there watching a whole lot of other things of this world but then when it comes to the word of god you can't sit through a two hour sermon just it's just two hours of your day so just make sure you sacrifice the time sacrifice the data to listen to sermon um attend online services and um also when church are, churches are open go to church go to church guys it really helps you it helps you even with fellowship with others even the word of the lord says don't forget the meeting of the saints so it's really important that we meet as saints and we interact and share our experiences of how we have overcome which will also help you to gain something from it and the next thing um is separate yourself I know this one is a very difficult one i'm also still struggling with it but then it's something that we need to do as christians we need to separate ourselves and by separating ourselves i mean separate yourself from toxic friendships separate yourself from um those those people you used to be in relationships with like your exes or people you used to be entangled with or you used to be in situationships with separate yourself from worldly music you know the kind of music that drives you and makes you want to do certain things stay away from that stay away from those friends by toxic friendships i mean those people that you used to associate with when you were not yet saved and they used to take you out for parties they used used to do a whole lot of ungodly things with them so you don't need that kind of influence anymore so make sure that you cut yourself cut ties with those kind of people even people that you used to like have romantic relationships with um it's really safe 
yeah of course there's some people who can still be friends with their exes but then it's really safe for you to stay away especially if they are people that you used to you used to engage with in um sexual immorality or things that are not so godly if your relationship was not clean yeah kind of thing because it's so easy for you to fall back into those things and the next thing i'm going to advise you guys is to stop being judgmental i know it's very easy for christians to judge yes and uh, by being judgmental um i mean that stop going on social media and start to criticize other people's churches stop criticizing other pastors and saying that um he's going to go to hell um he's not a man of god something like that but then um you know uh this there's a fine line between being judgmental and calling out sin so we wouldn't want to to forget that and also you need to consider that um that some people who are placed in this life to fulfill prophecy you never know someone is was placed and assigned by god to do the things that they are doing so that they fulfill prophecy of fake prophets being there so you wouldn't want to to criticize someone and say that they are going to go to hell what if they are predestined to go to heaven they're just fulfilling prophecy and god is going to forgive them at the end of the world you know kind of thing or they're going to repent and you're going to find them in heaven so stop being judgmental if you do not like a certain preacher or if you don't believe in a certain doctrine that someone preaches just leave it there's no need to go around spreading a seed of hatred into others of that particular person so keep your opinion to yourself uh if someone brings up that person just say no i'm not comfortable to talk about that person i i don't listen to them that's it so yes learn to keep quiet you don't have to always say something about someone kind of thing so yeah also on that note uh let's also talk about um stop hiding behind being judged okay i know i've seen there's this trend really currently on social media when someone who is like um a christian or a christian influencer or a preacher or someone they do something that is kind of controversial to the christian lifestyle and people start to comment on the comment section that they are not living up to the word of god this is according to the scripture what what, 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 what. and then you hear people saying that stop being judgmental are you god but what 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 but then you should also realize that it's the same bible that tells us to call out sin there's nothing wrong with calling out sin if someone is doing something wrong call it out and also um make sure that if it also happens to yourself we don't hide behind being judged accept that you have done something wrong or you are doing something in a wrong way and try to amend things with your maker and ask for god for forgiveness and repent rather than to hide behind being judged and the next point is have a christian community have those people who root for christ team jesus anytime those people are also rooted and crowned grounded in christ people who fully believe in the word of god people who are christians people who help you with your spiritual work uh, still on the same note it also brings me to the point of asking for advice from people who are saved yeah and uh, because they are going to give you um advice from the christian point of view from the bible point of view compared to the worldly point of view that worldly people can give you so um make a habit of asking for guidance from people who are saved people who are spiritually grounded and the next point is as much as it's important to, to have a christian community and also follow um social media christian influencers and um other pastors or preachers and christian tiktokers stuff like that it's also important that you don't solely depend on those people i myself made 
kind of the same mistake of fully depending on two certain um, Christian influencers that I loved so much and I strongly believed in them and I believe that they were never wrong and I was like so ready for anyone who's just gonna say anything wrong against them I would defend them anytime anyway but then I realized that it's very toxic when they started to do things that uh, were really questionable and were kind of contrary to the Christian lifestyle and I started to question myself about those people and it kind of gave me a, an emotional breakdown like I I remember telling my sister that they broke my heart kind of thing you know yeah so I had invested too much into those people yes it's okay to get influence it's okay to 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 get motivation from Christian influencers but don't solely depend on them because there are two things that are gonna happen firstly um, you are going to get disappointed if they just do anything that is contrary to the word of God you're going to be really disappointed and the second thing is you might also start to compare yourself which brings me to my next point of stop comparing yourself with other Christians. Stop feeling like your journey is too slow or someone is too spiritual compared to what you are. And you start to feel like, um, I'm slow. I'm not where I'm supposed to be as a Christian. So you need to know that your work is just fine. You're moving at the right pace. You don't need to move according to anyone's pace you are having your own christian walk with christ so never compare yourself with anyone any christian any influencer um yeah this is it from me today thank you so much for watching this video i hope it helped someone i help i hope you're gonna level up as christians and it's gonna help you to know the things that you need to stop doing and the things that you need to start doing and if you have any suggestions of the things that you can do to level up as a christian please just drop them in the comments i'll be really happy to also learn from you guys as you also learn from me as we help each other with this christian walk thank you so much i hope this video was a blessing and see you in my next video Bye.